Hi, I'm Zia Scaravalli, Senior Vice President of Yankee Groups Enterprise Research Practices, uh, based in Boston, Mass. Go Red Sox! I had to sink that in. Um, I'm live here at Cisco Live. What I've seen so far this morning was the the opening keynote and a couple of the early press conferences. And much of what I've seen this morning focuses around Cisco's role in the transformation of the data center into a physical one to a virtual one. And it's an interesting play for Cisco because Cisco historically has been in the data center, but not really a strategic vendor in the data center. I think with, in today's environment of um, uh, where the, the data center is becoming uh, a collection of virtual assets versus physical assets, the network is the only thing that touches everything. So I think it's an, it poses an interesting opportunity for a company like Cisco to take much more of a thought leadership role in how that, how that transforms. And it's really an opportunity unlike they've ever had before. So this is very consistent with how um, Cisco catches market transitions, and I think this is another one that we're smack in the middle of, and they seem to have caught early. Uh, what I'd like to see, I, at Yankee Group, we've um, uh, focused a lot of our research around the concept of how ubiquitous, con ubiquitous connectivity changes things, and how um, uh, once we connect everything, it, it changes the way we work, the way we live, um, the way we learn, uh, and the way we play. And um, I, I'd like to see more about uh, the role Cisco is going to play in the overall global mobile landscape and uh, how they'll enable people to do more things in more places on more devices. We had a pretty interesting demo this morning uh, by uh, the always funny Jim Grubb. It's always great to see him do his demos. Uh, and that was just a little taste of what we've seen, but I think the technical underpinnings of how that works is, uh, is, is still yet to be seen. Um, moving on to collaboration. Uh, we at Yankee Group define collaboration really as finding ways for uh, people to work together better, uh, but that requires information not just from other people, but also from devices, objects, um, you know, other documents, and I think uh, it falls very nicely into the theme of everything's connected. So again, once we have everything connected, um, we're, we're able to pull information out of these discrete silos that we have and deliver it to the right person at the right time. Um, you know, you think of in certain verticals like medical, um, uh, the, the, the clinicians collaborate not with just each other, but also the patient information systems, as well as the things monitoring um, uh, the actual patients in there. So I, I think collaboration is becoming much more broad and much more about just you and I interacting with each other, but also you and I interacting with all the things that are around us and all the things that are connected. Uh, I think Cisco's role in that is, again, an interesting one. Uh, when you look that, uh, when you think again about the network touching everything, uh, something has to be uh, the thing that, that uh, provides a lot of the context and intelligence to these different devices and tools we have, that being who a user is, where they are, uh, what kind of security policies they have, um, what their present status is, and the network seems like a perfect place to be able to serve those up um, to be able to make us uh, collaborate much better.